I'm all bundled up and this will probably be my last garden video outdoors unless there's something specifically I want to show you yeah I'm out I'm gonna pick a salad in a minute I'm gonna water these things as well speck of lettuce now, stevia is really loving the cold nobody really discussed that but the leaves are bigger than ever so I'm learning that stevia likes cold my peppers are hanging on although they're not growing any further or getting or turning red uh, verbena is still thriving as well my baby verbena that I left out in the cold to just see how it handled mm. Mm, I forgot how good that smelled fresh rhubarb trying to make a comeback these three little here's my mother stevia she's going to give up on life any, any moment now collard is growing very everything's growing very slow of course because it's cold out and uh, I'm going to plant another one another one should have been coming right here but it um my spinach is not getting much bigger three out of the four kale I think this is my lesson to start my second batch a little earlier in the season my second batch of uh, salad greens because all I really have is, that I can continue to make salad with is the uh, speck of lettuce but yeah the spinach uh, it's not doing anything else my purple cabbage finally came up I thought something came up and ate it well something did come up and eat it but the other ones I thought had been eaten just had not come up yet so again there's more speck of lettuce here there's one of the old um, purple cabbage that is going to be thrown away. The, the couple that have survived are looking really nice. Um, I have one red pepper on that plant, but otherwise, oh no, there are like three of them in there that are red. And one, three red and one half red. Those can be just all pulled up though. So yeah, I'm going to come out and pick some lettuce for a salad. Look how big, nice and big this one is. Mr. Cut my red okra trees and maybe I'll just wait until next year to just pull them up. We don't have the guts to throw this away. It's no more good. Oops. It's a watermelon that we didn't know we had coming. And these are my two red onions thriving. They didn't do anything all summer. I thought they died and didn't make it. But there they are. You can see how thick the, trunk, the okra trunks got. Yeah, so this is the uh, one red onion that kind of grew and didn't really so I pulled it up so I pulled it up this was the other red onion and this is the one I did not pull up so I had two in each pot so there's just one in this one now so that makes me wonder now look how pretty look how pretty that is red leaf And I'm thinking about whether I want to put a jacket on on top of the soil of my Honeycrisp apple. Surrounding my rhubarb, I put red onions. I see one coming up, but that's it. Okay, let me go pick the salad and take my butt inside. So I just need y'all to know how delicious this chili is I made last night. And I made these cute little cornbread muffins to go with them man do you hear me it's ground turkey as the meat we don't do beef much unless we're just getting a burger at a fast food place that we have no business going to but at home we substitute everything that would normally be ground beef for ground uh with ground turkey so that's everything burgers uh spaghetti whatever meatballs whatever but I just stuck my whole my leg in up to my hip on this I put both black and kidney beans in here and I just can't even tell y'all how it tastes oh. mm -mm -mm. Tives in there from the garden or green onions, whatever, same difference. Normally, it would be everything I could do not to sprinkle some cheese and, and put some hot sauce in it, but 
I just I can't touch it. I can't mess it up like that. It's so good. I mean, you see, I'm using a plastic spoon in my Greenpeace Tupperware because Mister at work, and I'm not about that dishwashing life when I don't need to be. Really smooches. I'm gonna go in. Mm. 